the question belongs to the mathematical induction and it is the the objective of the question is prove the mathematical induction for for all positive integral values of n this is the second category question we have done two questions before n will be replaced by 1 8t minus 2 is 72 and 72, yes, it is divisible by 6. It means that n is equal to 1, it is 2. Now for n is equal to k. 8 multiplied by 10 having power k minus 2, it is supposed, it is 2 for n is equal to k. Now we need to prove for n is equal to k plus 1. The statement is 8 into 10 and it's equal to k plus 1, we need to prove for it. n will be replaced by k plus 1 minus 2 and we need to prove that should be divisible by 6. Now, what we can do? We can split the 10. 10 having power k dot 10 having power 1. We have a split both of them. Like the law of indices like a plus m can be returned a having power m dot a having power n. With the help of this law. Now we need to think very critically if we want to make like this. What is the number that we can add on? It means that if you will see it very critically, the 8, 10 having power k will come. What is the additional value with this 10? And this is 2 here. And we need to make the 2 as well. And 2 is also here. 10 should be common. For example, just see. I am giving you a roughly example. Like 2 is there. If I will write 10, it will become minus 20, right? Minus 20. Then what? whatever we are doing, subtracting and adding will be required. Like the trick is, 8 into 10 having power k dot 10. This 10 is giving us a clue. Like this minus 2 if you are writing at the corner you can write it down. This 10 is giving you an idea. 10 into 2 plus 10 into 2. In the mathematics there is a rule. Whatever we are subtracting we should be added as well to make it balance. Why I have done so? I can take the 10 common. This is the strategy that why I have followed this one. 10 is common. 8 dot 10 having power k minus 2. This is 2 here. It has become exactly same. That is already valid for 6. Means definitely what we have learned, the multiple of it is also divisible by. Now what is left? Just see the spotlight. 10 into 2 minus 2. Again, I am telling you what is the trick that I have added minus 10 into 2 plus 10 into 2. What? How can I get an idea okay, what should be added or subtracted? Just see this critical part. We need to make like this. 8 into 10 having power k. It means that this 10 is extra. But the problem is that on the very next term, we need a minus 2 as well. So that's why I introduced the 2 as well. 10 and 2 will become 20. Whatever we are subtracting, we should be added. Now 10 and 10 is common. It's a multiple value and it has become the exactly same that is already valid for or it is true for. Now what is left? 10 into 2, 20 positive and minus 2. 10 into 2, 20 minus 2. What is, will be, it will be 18. And 18 is definitely divisible by 6. It is divisible by 6. And 18 is also divisible by 6. Yes, it is also valid for n is equal to k plus 1. 